So, ladies and gentlemen, as the last thought before we send you into the parallel working sessions, or the last two thoughts, uh, I want, first of all, to invite Guido Romeo to present the results from our sense-making project on the next generation internet, and then we'll ask Eva Kelly, member of the European Parliament, to present the EU Science Media Hub, which is also a new related development since the, uh, the last uh, such plenary. So, Guido first. Thank you, Robert. Uh, thank you for uh, giving the space to the report. Um, so the question we, we asked is very simple, uh, apparently. What do Europeans want from the Internet of the future? Uh, that's uh, easier said than done. So what we got was uh, the, what we called uh, in, in the family at Research, we call it the big blob. And uh, if you zoom into it, you have, uh, well, many things, of course, uh, uh, IoT, artificial intelligence, SSP. Uh, you not all of you are maybe familiar with SSPs, but uh, there are platforms for, for distributing advertising and many other things. Of course, jobs uh, figure um, quite uh, predominantly. Uh, many of the things you will hear in, uh, in these uh, following hours. Uh, but um, uh, here's how we did it. Uh, Fiorenza, can we? Okay. So we, we tackled this uh, question uh, in two ways. One was uh, a survey, uh, an online survey. Uh, we asked questions to people through the Internet uh, with a, a questionnaire that was actually quite boring. And I'm pretty surprised that, uh, and very happy that actually a, a 600 people answered, uh, uh, took part in this, and uh, there are very interesting answers. Uh, it's uh, not a conclusive, statistically significant sample, so we say that straight out, but it's uh, a very precious indication of uh, what to look for and where to look for that. Uh, I'll show you, I'll tell you more about this uh, 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 later on. And as you see there, the logos of our partners uh, from uh, Frankfurt Agedmein Zeitung, Il Sole 24 Ore, El Pais, uh, they've done, I, I wish to thank them all, they've done all an impressive job and um, uh, really outstanding. I must say that also Guardian and Politico took part and uh, gave a, a big boost uh, to the um, answers in the survey. The second uh, uh, way of uh, looking at what people think about the uh, Internet of the future was uh, a network and sentiment analysis that was mentioned earlier by Vincent Fossi, and uh, that was done uh, not by ourselves, but uh, we were supported in this. Uh, and uh, uh, we did uh, uh, contribute directly in putting in the words uh, that were to be looked for. Uh, we also discovered new things as we went along, and that was pretty important. We looked into Twitter, Facebook, uh, and Instagram, so the major social networks. Uh, as you will see from the uh, following slides, there are some things that uh, are to be said about where you look for information. Uh, the two exercises were done. The first, uh, uh, the survey was conducted in April, so it was closed uh, a month ago, basically, and the network analysis uh, was done uh, using data from uh, November uh, up to April. So it's a, it's a broader uh, period of time. This, what you see here, is the demographics. It comes from uh, the network analysis, but it's very much the same in the survey. And this says we have a problem. Uh, the problem here is uh, uh, exclusion. And uh, I might say uh, it's voluntary exclusion, or we're having trouble seeing what uh, our younger people, our millennials, are saying or not saying. Apparently, they're not discussing the future of the Internet. They're using it, they grew with it, but they're not engaging in the discussion. So we need to address that problem, uh, obviously. Uh, the other exclusion is uh, women. There is a gender bias which is very strong in the discussions we found, so we need to bring women on board. Uh, this, again, is partial. It's not statistically representative. Uh, you can't do a scientific paper on this, but uh, it shows there is a bias, uh, so we, we should study this better. 
This comes from the survey, and uh, you might not read the fine print, uh, but who will profit the most uh, from uh, NGI? So the, uh, again, keep in mind that the people answering were, let's say, mostly over 30, but the perception is that the, the ones who will profit the most are the younger generation, so the millennials. Second answer was uh, the big international global mm, technological companies. So that's a perception. Again, the, for the word exclusion, the last line on the bottom is uh, the older people. The, the Europeans uh, uh, seem to be afraid, maybe rightly so, that uh, the older generation is left out of this uh, uh, new digital promised land. So where can NGI make a difference? Uh, earlier, um, Robert was saying, uh, uh, let's solve real problems. Let, let's tackle real issues. Let's make a difference using uh, the internet. Um, the first uh, answer, and I guess this is a bit of a sign of, a, of the times, is terrorism. Uh, the last, uh, the most uh, uh, negligible answer is uh, uh, immigration. Um, in between, there are many different uh, uh, answers from jobs and uh, growth. Uh, uh, clearly, it's uh, what journalists uh, as myself and uh, many economists have been saying all along in the last years that uh, digital economy can, can boost growth uh, doesn't trickle down to the general population. So th there is something to be explained here. And uh, uh, what are the most important values for NGI? Again, uh, uh, it was mentioned earlier, uh, privacy, privacy, privacy. Uh, this uh, uh, is a very short glimpse of what we saw. You'll find more in the report, and we elaborate quite a bit on that. Uh, privacy here doesn't mean I won't give you my data. It means I want to be in control of my data. So, and this is a very... Uh, very significant answer. It comes out very clearly both from the survey and from the network analysis. Um, and uh, what actions are needed? Uh, so we need to build a more uh, secure, more open network. Uh, what is not done enough is uh, uh, regulation and intervention by national and international bodies. Um, we were asking, is the European Union, is the European Commission doing enough on this sector? And as you see, that's a bottom uh, line, uh, probably not. It's, at least it's not perceived as, it's an, as an active player. So, Keep in mind, what you have been distributed, if you don't have a paper copy, pick one up uh, with uh, uh, an Ask Our Hostess or download it from uh, the website, Research EU. Uh, but what you have there is a um, temporary report, is an interim report. Uh, we will be gathering all your inputs uh, to uh, um, draw a final report in September, getting all your input and, of course, elaborating. We will be also releasing more data in the open in the coming months. So, <clears throat> so thank you very much, Guido. That was fast. That was fast. I, I think the, the important point, which is a novelty again in the way we run these research events, is that what you have so far in the beginning of this conference is not cut and dried. It's a document that can grow with your inputs. Actually, glancing at it again as Guido was speaking, there are quite a lot of touch points between the debate we've had this afternoon and some of the indications and preferences that came out. Uh, right down to things like uh, the current institutions won't do. We need something different at European but also at global level, for example. So there's plenty of food for thought there, but we hope also material to which you and your networks in the next weeks will also feel motivated to respond. So this is food for thought. And that being so, I'm not going to delay the closure of this session and the beginning of the working sessions where you can respond. Uh, so I would like, rather than opening a debate on that material and that presentation right now, save it for the working sessions and bring it back into our closing plenary 
tomorrow unless people have a burning issue they want to raise now, and I don't see any. So, Eva, I will turn to you to tell us about this exciting new uh, process that you are helping to pilot. 